Hello, my name is Jürgen Weisweg. I am one of the founders of Games Distillery, and today I would like to present our new game, Citadels. Citadels is a strategy game aimed primarily at players of strategy and development games, but also at fans of the Middle Ages, fantasy, and especially castle building. In the first part of our video today, I'm going to introduce the economy and construction aspects of Citadels. Have fun watching. Citadels is a strategy game with a construction component based mainly on building fortifications and defense systems. The game is set in medieval England. We've taken Arthurian legend as a basis. To start with, I want to give you a quick introduction to the game's economy. What's special about Citadels is that it's a civic game. That means anything you build has to be built by citizens. I can generate citizens by building more houses. This increases my unit limit, so I can generate new citizens. The economy has two levels. First, I need to cover the basic to collect basic resources, which allow me to unlock and build more buildings. Basic resources are wood, wheat, stone, and iron ore, which all need to be collected first using the corresponding building and taken back to my storage building to be processed. When I click on a worker, I get the build menu. And here I find all the resource producing buildings. And I'm going to start by constructing a woodcutter's hut. Now the worker runs to the town hall to get the resources he needs to build the building. And then he starts constructing the building. And so first, I build up the grassroots economy for my game to collect all the important resources I need, to upgrade to higher levels later, and to buy bigger buildings. The second building I'm going to construct is the farm. The farm produces wheat, which I need for the production of food. The first woodcutter's hut has been constructed. What I can do now is send several workers in there just to be more productive, and to produce more, faster. What I'm building now is an ore quarry. I just happen to know that there's iron ore down there, so I'll position an ore quarry around there. And the final basic building is the stone quarry. I'll place that down here where I can quarry stone. So now I see I only have two workers left available to me. To generate new ones, I need to build houses. So I'll place a house here. And once again, the worker goes to the town hall, picks up resources, and then runs over to construct the building. So now, I'm effectively producing all four basic goods. As an additional building, I can also build the market. At the market, I can sell goods, on the one hand, to generate gold, the additional resource that I also need in the game. On the other hand, I can also buy goods if I require something at short notice that I can't or don't want to produce so quickly. So, he's finishing up here. We can have a quick look at this. I can trade all goods here. I can buy them or sell them. Once I've built the four basic buildings to collect basic resources, I have the option of upgrading the town hall. The town hall can be upgraded in three stages, each time unlocking new building options and improved buildings. So now I can see that my town hall has been upgraded. Its appearance has also changed, and there are new building options available to me. This now also allows me to upgrade the buildings I've already built by one level. This increases their efficiency and the number of workers they can accommodate. The processing works produce stone blocks for the construction of buildings. They make planks of wood out of the wood, also for the construction of buildings and weapons factories. Wheat is used for baking bread, and the blacksmith makes weapons from the iron ore, which I'll need later to equip my armies. I've now unlocked an additional storage building. 
I need that now to store level 2 resources. Additionally, I can now build second level production buildings. A second level has been added here to take all level 1 resources and process them. This building here makes planks from the wood. And this building turns stones into proper stone blocks for the construction of more sophisticated buildings. Now I have to construct the next two production buildings, the first of which is the bakers, which provide bread, and the other is the blacksmiths, which supplies weapons for my arms production later. Now I've constructed all level 2 buildings. And now is the right time to upgrade the town hall to the next level. I can also use the town hall to set tax rates. This will become important, especially later on in the game. This means that once I'm producing the basic resources on a large scale and have an excess, I can up taxes and increase the amount of gold I receive. That means, for example, if I collect 10 pieces of wood and set the tax rate to 40%, I would only receive 6 parts wood, but on the other hand, I'd also get 4 parts gold. So now I've constructed all production buildings and upgraded them to the highest level. I can see there's quite a lot going on in my little settlement. And now that my entire economy is up and running, of course I will want to try to secure my stronghold with defensive works. So, that's it for the first part of our series of Citadel's videos. Next time, I'll be telling you more about the construction of defenses and castle building in general. I hope you've enjoyed it, and it'd be great if you tuned in again next time.